didn't believe Sue died accidentally, as the coroner said. You know, but they just wouldn't listen. We gave them all the evidence they could, and uh, they just wouldn't listen to it. Peter and Elizabeth Skelton say the police and other public bodies are now listening, but it's taken several years of effort and heartache. In 2011, their daughter Susan was found dead, aged 52. A coroner ruled the death was accidental after her boyfriend claimed he'd unintentionally rolled on top of her while they slept on a sofa. It meant police had no suspicions about chef Robert Trigg, despite a previous girlfriend dying in similar circumstances. Five years earlier, Caroline Devlin was found lifeless. Her death was recorded as an aneurysm. Susan's parents would spend £10,000 hiring a pathologist to provide evidence to make police reopen both investigations. It's caused a lot of mental torture, hasn't it? Mm. Yeah. And it's caused you, and you had a mild heart attack during yeah, the time, didn't you? Time, yeah, because mm. you never stop thinking of it. Mm. It'll still go on and on mm. inside us, for the way we were treated. And this, could, Susan's death could have been prevented. Rob, why do you think she's dead? Trigg got a neighbour to make the 999 call, claiming he killed Susan by accident in his sleep. I think could be this was Susan's parents last year, just moments after he was jailed for the murder of their daughter and the manslaughter of Caroline Devlin. It prompted the review, which has found Sussex police missed opportunities to catch Trigg sooner. The full report hasn't yet been made public, but the force have said, we are truly sorry it took so long to get justice and it is important we learn any lessons and provide answers for the families of Caroline and Susan. How let down do you feel by...? Oh, well, 100% let down. 100%. Yeah. They didn't we, investigate Susan's uh, death uh, one little uh, bit. One bit, no. And, uh, <clears throat> just, just they kept fobbing us off, mm -hmm. making excuses for Robert Trigg. They couldn't do enough to protect Robert Trigg. Susan's parents continue to accuse police of a cover-up. The Independent Office for Police Conduct will now investigate. Julian Drucker, 5 News, Worthing.